What is going on you guys? It is Mr. No Sleep here from Old School RuneScape and today I'm going to show you how I made over 100 mil in less than 10 hours just by killing spindle bots. Now the video is already complete but who doesn't love a little bit of live commentary so I figure I'll just show you guys how I do this and hopefully you can take some notes if you want to try this out yourself a little bit later on because the money is insane. I think my worst hour was 7 mil and my best hour was 14 mil but it all averaged out to be more than 10 mil an hour so let's get into it. First off, this is the gear choice that I was using. The only thing to really note is that Toxic Staff of the Dead is very important for this, and Void Waker is really nice too, but you don't need it. So uh, this is basically how I do it. So we always want to impute heart right before we go out. Then we simply uh, teleport, and we're going to be going to the Corp Cave, and then we're going to be running north. So that's about it for that. Now, something to keep in mind as we run up here, there are two bots that I encountered. I killed over 160 of them in the last 10 hours. Uh, while doing this video. One of the bots wears black dehyde with a miter, and those bots tend to prey accordingly uh, no matter what weapon or whatever you're going to be using on them. They're very harder to kill compared to the other bot, which is the more common one to run into, this one being the monk robes bot. So we'll see which one we run into first, but overall they're pretty easy to kill. It's just a little tricky uh, to start off because they might be really south in the cave and they might escape. That has happened a couple times. But something else I want to point out is scout accounts like these usually this indicates that there is a real player inside i want to let you guys know i ran into plenty of scout accounts that were actually protecting bots in the world so these guys are not to be trusted so i mean we're still going to check it out but uh it's a 50 percent chance it could be a real player or a bot i never kill real players this is only a bot killing video and look this person actually knows we're uh we're making it right now they're they're on the video all right so clearly that's not a bot inside here so we're gonna go ahead and hop worlds but if you peek um, you know, you can see someone's in there. You do have to have the Wilderness Medium Diaries completed. I would say 95% of these kills you can do if you're max, but there are a couple bots that are lower than Combat 97, and that's why we have a alternate account to kill them, uh, because I can't reach that combat at this account stage. But okay, so there's some movement in there, so we're gonna go ahead and Super Combat pot up. We're gonna have TB ready, and then we're gonna go in for the Entangle. So let's just see who it is. All right, so this is a common bot, a 116. We get that TB first thing. This is a 116. We're going to put Smite on into the Void Waker because they will not be protecting melee. And as you can see, this works with the staff as well. They're just going to have Protect ma Magic on. And these are the Monk Row bots. Usually uh, 500 to 700k a kill. You can smite them very easily. And just like that, they're dead. So that's just a perfect example of how to do this. If you don't unload all your specs, you can do multiple kills in one inventory. Uh, towards the end, I got a lot more confident. But as you can see, there's 735k. I mean, it's that quick, it's that simple, and those are the Monk Robots. Like I said before, the Black Dehyde bots, we might run into one, we might not, but those are a little bit more challenging to kill. But either way, we're going to hop again, and we're just going to continue on with the cycle. I'll probably do one more kill for an example, but you guys get the point. Uh, sometimes, you know, the bot may be all the way towards the exit, so they might get away, but that happens like 15% of the time. Uh, and if it's a normal player, I just log out so this guy's normal player and uh the tb hits so i can't log out him in combat but i'm not going to bother him because he's not risking much you're more likely to make more money from just killing bots than you are these innocent people with you know dragon maces or uh, leaf bladed battle axe it just depends so let's go ahead and hop down i mean you can choose any world try to stay away from the total level worlds though because they don't really access those too much a lot of these accounts are botted from day one and a lot of these accounts are hacked accounts like i've looked up accounts that i've killed and and they have 20,000 spindle KC, but they're like 100 TOA KC. So uh, that guy's not a bot, so we're just going to go ahead and hop worlds. You can log out as soon as you enter spindle to save time. Uh, it just depends on who you see. But usually you want to throw that tele tele block anyway just to make sure, um, you know, that you get it in there. But either way, uh, didn't really run into many PKers in this video. Um, if I did, I would try to escape. I am not here to fight PKers, and you shouldn't be either. But uh, it is, what is it, Thursday night, 6 p.m. as I'm doing this, so that's pretty uh, yeah, it's pretty populated right now, but either way, you just keep hopping until you find the next bot. But either way, I don't want this to drag on too long because the video is already super long itself. Um, 
But yeah, as you can see, like there's a scout here, but I'll still check just just because. And if you see a thrall like that, then they're obviously not a bot. You just simply log out. You don't want to disturb these normal players. It's taking a little bit longer than usual, but I haven't done this since last night. I just woke up and yeah, there's just a lot of people here. So it really just depends on... Oh, see, so yeah, there was a bot all the way south there and it looks like they got away. So I'm going to go ahead and log out, but you could see them quickly in those monk robes. Hopefully we have one here. Yep, perfect spawn. All right, we're going to get the TB in. Going to get the freeze in, and their prayer is just switching constantly. So I've killed this guy like 15 times. So we're just going to continue to whack him. And if he runs outside the cave, somehow he gets away from you. Uh, just continue to freeze him. Uh, but as you can see here, they're really easy to kill. They don't really fight back much. And as they run, just make sure you get that last freeze right there. Perfect. And then we're just going to continue to smite him. You're going to be taking a little bit of damage from Venonatus or Spindle, whatever you want to call it. But just make sure you don't die. There you go. So they're dead. And that was, let's see, probably like, what, 600k? 430k. So yeah, that's basically it. Uh, that's how you kill bots. You just have to hover over every world and then, you know, probably teleport out every two kills or so. You don't want to get too greedy. But the odds of you dying to a PKR in this setup or any similar setup, as long as you have that toxic staff, is very low. That's why you have Entangle. You can just uh, freeze the PKR and then log out behind a tree. But yeah, that's basically what this video is. Someone commented on my last video that killing spindle bots is 8 mil an hour, and I didn't believe it, so I wanted to go test it out myself. And it turns out I made uh, 14 mil in my best hour. So this money is serious, and I know this video will probably cause a lot of people to go check this area out. So maybe wait a few days after the release of this. Uh, the bot script, the bot owner might pause the script if his accounts keep dying too much. But uh, yeah, this is the most money I've ever made doing anything in the wilderness in under 10 hours. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. That was just a quick little guide on how to do it. The risk with this setup is about 28 mil. So try your best not to die. And that's about it. Hope you guys enjoy. And let's get to and let's get into the video today. Now it's a little bit harder to kill these bots on a low level 85 account like you're seeing here on my alt swerve's house but we can still manage to get the kill you just have to be a little quicker when you're switching weapons uh because you know they're praying magic here but if you get it on the right tick then you can make sure that your range attack goes to them before they pray against it so it's just a little trick uh that you have to learn it takes a little bit of practice but uh, nevertheless it does work um for the very first part of this i did bring a ballista on my main account as you can see it got us a nice kill there against the black dehyde bot for 1.2 mil the the black dehyde bots tend to to be risking more than the monk robot so it's something to keep in mind after a while though i did decide to bank my range because uh void waker and fire search is good enough for me for this method i don't think you need range but it's really always up to you for example for my gear choice you don't have to bring elite void you can bring mystic and you can bring uh you know torags for a little bit of tank gear black dehyde top etc so just really it depends on your budget and your preference but yeah for, for the most part range wasn't really necessary for this it does hit really high but so does the toxic staff of the dead you know it's just nice to whack these bots uh constant 40s when they're just praying magic and i think they're praying magic on the void waker because they're just fearing the special attack which is dumb in my opinion i think they should definitely be protecting melee but i mean it's 2023 these bots are already smart enough to you know run efficiently at spindle and get 20,000 kills no problem with no bans so uh maybe they'll be smarter in the near future and they will be praying more accordingly but for now it's nice to take advantage of this and it was really at this point in time where I was just testing this out and I had made about 6 mil on both of my accounts in around 45 minutes. So I said, well, uh, you know, let me just start timing this. Let me do an hour and see how much I make. And if I'm happy with the results, then I'll go ahead and do a full 10 hours and we'll see how much I can make. And as, as this video was progressing throughout the night, I was just noticing the profit going up and up as the hours were going by. So that's when I realized that I can probably make 100 mil in less than 10 hours. So that's the goal for this video. And no doubt about it I know I'm gonna accomplish it just because this is just insane money and it's insanely quick I mean just banking and getting back there takes like 30 seconds or less and hopping worlds takes no time at all and since I was doing this video from like 2 a.m. until I think around 7 a.m. and then I came back the next day around 3 a.m. Uh, until late morning those were the perfect times for me personally that there was little to no competition doing this I've definitely noticed around 6 p.m. and around you know peak times like that 
when more players are online, there's a lot more competition. So that'll slow down your profits per hour here. So try to time it right. And if it's just not working out for you, take a break, you know, come back in a few hours and it might be much better. After the release of this video, I really don't know what to expect, but uh, I'm probably going to ruin some people's money making methods here. I saw the same exact four usernames throughout this whole 10 hour. And I, and I know for a fact that those guys probably rely on this for their main money making method. And at 10 mil an hour, you know, can you really blame them? I mean, that's just insane profit killing bots. And I've been one to speak against bots for quite a while now. I, I recently killed 250 lava dragon bots and I've done even more with chin bots. So I think I'm starting to realize that Jagex just straight up doesn't care and they're never going to fix the botting problem. So, you know, if I can take it into my own hands and slow down these bot farms and make a ton of profit at the same time, not only am I helping the game a little bit, but I'm helping my bank. So it's a win-win in my opinion. Now, the fact that I killed over 150 spindle bots on this account, and then I think like 20 or less on my alternate account means that I had, I think four hours worth of footage for this, but I had to break it down into 25 minutes because there's no way any of you guys would want to watch a four hour video of mine. At least I don't think, you know, it's a long time. It's longer than the movie King Kong with Jack Black, which is such a good movie. We have this guy here who is probably a hacked account because I looked him up and he's like ranked on every boss and he's got 12k KC. So sit means sit. If you're watching this man, recover your account. You probably have a spindle pet in there or 10. But yeah, I did PK Fangs of Inanatus from him. That was pretty funny. That was the only Fang drop I got in this video. It's a shame they went down so much, but that's why I got it as a drop. Otherwise, they would just protect it. Similar to if a bot got a Void Waker drop. Unfortunately, they would protect that but uh nevertheless we're always going to get the ether which is huge profit here i think i ended up with over 200,000 ether and that's because these bots are using vigor's chain mace or ursine chain mace whatever they have the stats for and that's a huge uh plus for the profit is all that ether a guaranteed combat bracelet and a nezzy helmet or a miter and if you get the smite you always get dragon boots i think i got close to 40 pairs so 40 smites in this video not bad at all now as it goes for tracking the loot as you guys can see here i just had a notepad document out and anytime I would open up a loot key, I would just type out the number on that notepad document in that uh, specific hour. So, and then eventually once that hour would be up, for example, right now it's ending, I would just simply add up all of those numbers on a calculator. I never pause the timer at all unless I would go get a drink or, you know, do something else. Uh, but yeah, for the most part, the timer was always running even when I was banking, even when I was hopping worlds. I never ever paused it because I wanted to make this as accurate as possible. And from the first actual hour of testing this, I made 7.3 mil profit in 60 minutes also known as an hour, but uh, yeah, that was a huge number for me, but I wanted to see more, and honestly, a couple bots did escape from me and uh, just got unlucky with a few of them, so I was like, all right, let's keep going. Let's try to get that eight mil an hour that I was uh, reading about in that YouTube comment, and uh, let's see if we can even make more than that, so this is all about the journey, a 10-hour journey of just killing bots, uh, really minimally using my 20 defense account. There was probably only like three bots that were below the combat of 97 so if you want to do this make sure you're above that combat level and you have really good stats and decent gear for this that way you can maximize your profit and if you have access to an account that can hit level 97s then that's great too that's what swerve's house was for and he was uh, able to get the kills that my main wasn't yeah unfortunately i did kill a normal player there for 700k i think that only happened three times all right so uh, yeah occasionally i would kill a normal player but very rarely uh just because the influx of bots was so heavy that i didn't really need to and plus, if you go for the normal players, as I mentioned in the intro, you always run the risk of getting anti-PK'd, and they just put up a lot harder of a fight. I mean, look at this Luki, 1.4 mil from a bot. It's really no ordinary bot, though. This guy had 23,000 Spindle KC, and he was rank 9. As you can see, these Black Dehyde bots, they're maxed, some of them. Uh, a lot of these are hacked accounts or sold and bought accounts. That guy was rank 4, 35,000 KC. That's like 4 bill or more. I don't even know, but it's a lot of money. 1.1 mil from the loot key there. And honestly, I mean, 8.2 mil made in 55 minutes where we made a little bit more than the last hour, but we're still not making as much as I want to see. So let's let's speed it up a little bit. Let's go for these black dehyde bots a little bit more often. Let's get some quicker kills. Let's do some multiple kills in one inventory. Anything I can do to make sure that I can maximize my profit an hour here, I will do. Because I want to see those 10 mil hours. I want to see those 14 mil hours. 
Bones. We managed to kill uh, rank six Spindle. So what's that? Rank six, rank four, rank nine. Now, what is this? The whole top page, just bots now, just selling GP every day, getting away with it. God, I just want to make a huge video ranting and raving at Jagex, but they don't care. They, they, you know, they were supposed to send me a jacket in 2017. They never sent me that jacket. They don't care about a jacket. They don't care about bots. All right, that's the end of my rant, I promise. But getting back to it, 1.9 mil, 140 Onyx Bolt Tips. This guy had like, what I mean, three rune picks. This guy must have had nine kills in one inventory. I really don't know when these Spindle bots bank because you do get a lot of food from uh, Spindle and Restores, so you can extend your trip. But uh, yeah, that's just insane to not bank at 1.9 mil worth of loot. So I don't know who's uh, running these, you know, from the Harvard basement or something. But yeah, these uh, they definitely programmed in a very uh, unique way. But either way, uh, we are continuing the grind here. The 10 hours of killing bots, probably one of my most fun videos that I've ever done. One of my most entertaining for sure. Uh, if you were curious what rank 12 looked like, you know, what's he like in person? What's he in game? Well, he's a bot, so... He's trash. Anyway, 19,000 kills. Another hour completed. Again, I'm not showing every single kill that I'm getting because I just have way too much footage, but you'll see the loot keys. Believe me, the proof is in the picture. Over 10 million GP made in that hour. So we went from, what, 7 mil to 8 mil to now 10 mil profit an hour, and we're just on, uh, we're just gonna keep moving on up, really, because I don't want to see that profit diminish. I just want to see it grow and keep on growing. I would say a majority of my kills were inside the Spindle Cave. Whenever that web is shot out and it freezes them and starts draining their prayer that is no doubt about it the best time to kill them uh but with that being said another hour has been completed uh, again can't show every kill just too long of a video it's already a 25 minute long video so let's just go ahead and add up this fourth hour on my calculator here my trusted google calculator 11.6 mil made in that hour absolutely insane and i was just i mean i was stunned like while recording this i just kept saying to myself this is just insane like i can't believe how much money i'm making and this is real it's 100 percent real none of it you know pausing the timer for whatever time no this is 100 percent. and if you go test this out right when this video releases you'll probably have good odds of getting an 8 mil hour yourself a 10 mil hour or even more than that but again uh there's going to be a lot of people there for the probably for a few nights and a few, few days so don't don't get too demotivated. This is not a dead method. This is not a ruined money-making method. It just might be a little slower and not as profitable when this video gets released, but I promise you in a few days, these bot owners are counting on you to give up and they'll just get right back to it. With that being said, 1.9 mil from that loot key, those black dehyde bots always bringing in the bacon uh, compared to the monk robots, but I, I don't really care. The monk robots are much easier to kill than these black dehyde bots. Regardless though, with a set up like mine, uh, it's it's really no problem killing these bots. You have two minutes and 30 seconds to kill them if you hit a half telly block, and you have a five minute timer to kill them if you had a, a full telly block on them. So it's really just up to you and make sure you catch the freeze. Don't let them gap you, and you should be good. Uh, with that being said, though, we've killed 87 bots so far, and we just now have finished another hour. So let's go ahead and add up everything that we got from the fifth hour. The main highlight from that one would be the 1.9 mil PK, and it looks like we got just about 11.5 mil again on the fifth hour so a uh, 100k less than the hour before it but i mean it's still over 11 mil an hour and at this point i was going to stop at 100 kills i was just going to name this video you know loot from 100 spindle bots but i decided no no i gotta make it bigger than that we're gonna go for 100 mil instead of 100 kills i was having so much fun and this was taking no time at all like i said this took two nights to do five hours one night five hours the next night and that's it i mean look at this 981k there. I had a funny instance where a bot uh, ran too low and I couldn't hit him anymore on my main, so I just logged in on my other account and I killed him. So yeah, he just got stuck at the ends there. Mark Zuckerberg the lizard must not be uh, programming these bots. I don't know who is, but he's got a couple things to, uh, you know, edit there. So I don't know, maybe I'm giving him too much advice in this video. Now I will say while you're doing this, you're going to run into a lot of PKers, anti-PKers, and bait accounts. What a bait account is essentially is an account that looks like a noob uh, making you want 
to attack them and then once you attack them all of a sudden uh, while you're thinking oh my this is free money they pull out a void waker an AGS and a vengeance with an inferno cape on top and they try to kill you so that's why you don't kill bait accounts you only go for bots don't get greedy don't get a little cocky just kill the bots it's good enough money as it is all right another hour complete uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take a break here because it's 9 45 p.m. it's peak time 8.6 mil made that hour a lot less and that is because it's 8 p.m. you really should not do this method uh, anywhere, you know, before midnight EST. So I took a break and I logged in around midnight and I continued on. To my surprise, a beautiful black dehyde bot uh, gave me 1.5 mil worth of loot. Ryan B415 is his username. He's probably top page spindle. I don't think I looked him up, but there's our friend Ammo Van Dam again, rank four. We got another 1.4 mil from him. They are a little tougher to kill. You can kind of notice those guys are the ones that are running pretty far outside the spindle cave and it takes me a while to kill them but we usually get it done in two and a half minutes with that being said a very successful hour uh 700k there another 500k there just a huge hour for me i think this was midnight to 1 a.m or something like that after calculating it all up on my trusted google calculator 12.9 mil profit that hour that is is the definition of insane. Now let's let the eighth hour begin and let's hopefully make more than 12 mil. I still wanna make 100 mil within 10 hours time and we're gonna have to have a little bit more successful hours if we wanna be able to do that because those seven mil and eight mil hours bring us down uh, below the 10 mil an hour mark. So we gotta make sure we hit more than 10 mil an hour mark uh, so that we can make up for that lost GP. There's another ammo Van Dam kill, 1.4 mil. Oh my God, I'm, I'm targeting these guys so hard and their usernames are still the same so it's funny like if you watch this video and you run into those bots you know for a fact you're getting over a mil from them so uh yeah i don't know i, I doubt they're gonna be banned don't worry about that we know jagex doesn't ban any bots now if you don't believe me just go to furox uh enclave in any world and you'll you'll see hundreds of them so you know you don't have to worry about these guys going anywhere i just think the bot owner might take a little bit of a break because he might log in and see oh my my accounts have died 300 times in 10 hours so yeah feel free to bring everyone here bring your friends bring your family bring your dog whoever can click a mouse and kill a bot bring them on down and let's get these uh, bot farms cleared up and while we're doing it let's make some incredible profit along the way because that is truly what this is all about never in my life did i think i could make 10 mil gp an hour on this game just by killing bots in the wilderness 1.8 mil from that i mean it's just insane we calculated this hour at 14.7 mil that was from 2 a.m to 3 a.m truly the best time to do this because there is no competition at all that i ran into other than myself uh which is just uh, that means all the bots are for me so at this point in the video i had made 90 mil uh i wanted to do 10 mil more but that was with both of my accounts combined uh, i ended up deciding that i want to make just 100 mil on my main account and then whatever we have on my alternate account will just be extra gp so uh at this point, I was still in the 10 hour time frame and I could get this done. That 14 mil hour helped me out tremendously and I was having so much fun. This gets addicting after a while. Like you really want to challenge yourself to kill every bot that you can. You don't want to misclick. You want to time things right. 1.7 mil loot key there. I mean, it's just insane how quickly we made 100 mil here. I ended up making 100 mil after a few more kills on both of my accounts. But like I just mentioned, I wanted to just have 100 mil stack on the main. So although I had like 8 mil made on my alt, because uh, he did very minimal work this video. Uh, most of these bots are higher levels. So I just wanted to make uh, about eight more mil and then I would be finished with this video and I was still in the uh, right 10 hour time frame and it was going incredible. I was actually so confident that I stopped teleporting out after every key and I started getting three keys and then I teleported out. And even if I would have died somehow by a max PK who just got the better of me and I couldn't escape, I still would have made 70 mil profit. So that's just incredible to think about. No deaths though in this video, luckily. So now that the the ninth hour is complete. We're going to go ahead and add everything up and it is an astounding 12.5 mil made in that hour. Uh, four more mil until we hit 100 mil loot. So we're just going to keep on going. Uh, we still have two hours left to go. That doesn't count for the one hour beforehand. So it's actually nine hours uh, total. And then if we look at the remaining minutes, it looks like we had 25 minutes left. So nine hours and 25 minutes, ladies and gentlemen, that is how long I did this video for. This 
is how long I killed spindle bots for. And I ended up making 100 mil on my main account and 8 mil on my alternate account. And now it is time to show that loot. Not only is it in the inventory there, but it's also on the loot chests on Rune Light. 147 spindle bot kills, 100 mil GP, almost 300,000 ether, almost 9 mil coins, almost 1,000 onyx bolt tips, 37 dragon boots smited, so many super restores, uh, 1 fangs of Inanatus drop, 20,000 mithril darts from all these bots, uh, tons of monk robes, tons of black dehyde sets, and yeah, just tons of spindle loot as well. Who even needs to kill spindle? If you need loot, just feel free to kill the bots. As it goes for my 20 defense alternate account, you guys know him as Swerve's House. I'll go ahead and show the loot tracker on him. It's not nearly as much because you really just don't need uh, a low level for this unless you just happen to run into those low level 97s. But overall, we got another 15 kills there and an extra 8 mil profit. So that's not bad. I also killed uh, one PKer on Swerve's House, so that's cool. But 108 mil profit in less than 10 hours zero deaths on both accounts and probably just like one mil or less spent on supplies uh, just a quick price check of 90 mil in the inventory the rest of it is in the bank i really don't know how many spindle bots there were throughout the making of this video if i had a guess i would say less than 20 no more than 25 and we killed every single one of them multiple times ladies and gentlemen Thank you for watching the video today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know I did. It was a lot of fun. A huge thank you to those of you who support me every month. Uh, it helps out so much. A special shout out to Deception Z, X, Exotic X, and Angel's Blood. Hope you guys enjoy the video. And if you want me to kill more bots, leave it in the comments below and I'll get right on to it. Until next time, Mr. No Sleep, out.